Hi Foxy friends, this is Sarah from Foxy's Domestic Side and today I'm going to show you how to make these lovely canvas to picture DIYs. I know the whole picture to canvas thing is really big right now. I need six pictures to go on my kitchen wall and it's only going to be for a month since as you can see they're Santa pictures. If you want to see an easy DIY picture to canvas, keep watching. So what you're going to need for this project is a canvas. This is a 10 by 10 canvas because I am trying to cover up these tiles right here. So I'm trying to replace these for the holiday season. So I got a 10 by 10 canvas. I did buy this at Hobby Lobby and they do have 50% off on canvases occasionally. Uh, this is $6.99 so that's 50% off of that and if they didn't have um, the 50% off when I happened to be at Hobby Lobby I would just use my 40% off coupon. You're also going to need some paint. I chose black paint and a paintbrush. This just happened to be what I grabbed because I knew I had to cover the canvas. Um, you can use any paintbrush. I think that the foam paintbrushes would work better just so that it doesn't leave the brush marks with the bristles but you can use what you want and last but not least you're going to need Mod Podge. I keep saying Mod Podge because that makes more sense because it rhymes but it's not. It's Mod Podge just like this. I happened to buy the Mod Podge matte water based sealer glue and finish so that's what I bought. Alright those are the things that you need for this project and let's get started. So we're going to first put this paint in and then we're going to start painting. So we're going to start painting this and I'm going to actually do two thin coats. Um, you could probably get away with one but I found that two um, works best. And You want to go a little over over the edges like this um, in case your picture ends up being a little bit smaller. And I just went over a little bit on the other side just in case because you just never know what you're going to need. paint is drying or however you want to do it, um, you're going to need to cut your picture to size. This is a 12 by 12 print from Costco. You do not need to get any type of um, printed picture on regular paper. You can use photo paper. I do find that it does work. So you can use that because I wasn't sure if you couldn't use that, but you can use that in fact. I have a 10 by 10 canvas, so I needed a 12 by 12 and I'm just going to cut it down to size. Uh, you can do this one of many ways, but I happen to have a quilting mat and a quilting cutter. So I'm going to use that to cut this. You can just mark the edges with a ruler and a pencil and then cut along that um, for with some scissors. But I will quickly show you how I do that. Um, I did find that if you cut it 10 by 10 exactly the size that this is, it because this is a little bit curved right here, you're not gonna you're gonna kind of go over the edges a little bit. So you do want to cut it slightly smaller than the size that you want for your canvas, depending on what your canvas looks like. So I'm gonna cut it slightly smaller than 10 by 10, maybe um, do um, a one and eighth of an inch off of each side. So you know to make up for that little bit of curved part right there. So that is what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to shift this a little bit and I'll probably cut off a little bit more on one side than the other side because um, there's so much space over here. So I'll probably end up cutting, you know what, I might cut off one and a half on this side. check see what that looks like see how it sticks off just a little bit because I just cut off I cut exactly 10 by 10 so we want to cut off just a little bit more we're gonna shape a little bit off of each side Fit check after one uh, you know what that looks about good actually Let's cut off the top and the bottom. We're gonna cut off probably a lot of the top. So I have cut my picture to size. Um, how much did it end up being? Um, 
about nine and a half-ish, a little bit over nine and a half by nine and a half. Um, so you can see that it fits perfectly. Um, so this is the part. Now you want to take, now you want to take your Mod Podge, and you want to kind of pour this onto the canvas. Some people pour, pour into a plate or something. I find that if you just pour onto the canvas directly, it works just as good. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You want to just pour a little bit of this onto the canvas like this and then you want to spread it around. This does dry clear, I know this is scary, but this does dry clear, so if you just go over the sides a little bit, that's totally fine. You can choose to go all the way over the sides if you want and just do it how you did the black, or you can just go a little bit. Up to you. Now you're gonna wanna put your picture down. And you want to center it as best as you can and then press it down and kind of press all the bubbles out. And you wanna make sure that you really get these sides down because I didn't do that the first time when I did this and it kind of has this teeny tiny little gap so you want to just make sure that this is all the way down everything is pressed on see this streak here from the the glue you will not see that it'll dry clear so I don't know if you can see that or not but it will dry clear so you're okay so you want to just do that and now you want this to dry and you'll see why in the next step why you want this to dry completely. So I will be back. Um, you won't know, but it's gonna be a couple days later. I will be back to finish this up for you. Okay, I'm back and it's now dry. Um, if you can see, I don't know if you can really see this, but it is dry. All right, so now we're gonna add another coat of Mod Podge on the top of this. Now we're just gonna pour some of this on top. I know it seems scary, but it does dry clear, I promise. You can do as much or as little of this as you want. Doesn't really matter. All right, now the trick to getting this to look like an actual canvas is to take another canvas like this. This is one that I have already painted. You wanna imprint the grain of this because there is a slight texture to this. So you wanna transpose that to this. So that's why we wanted it to dry completely, the picture to dry completely, because we are gonna imprint this canvas look on top of the canvas that you already have. This is what it's gonna make it look amazing. Lift it up so you can see that it didn't really imprint on the sides, so you wanna Make sure that you don't really wiggle it around. You can kind of just keep doing it until you get the look that you want, really. Ideally, you probably want a canvas that's slightly bigger than what you have, but it'll all still work. Ouch. There you go. So now we have a canvas print here that you can see has a texture on it from what I showed you and I will be back to show you what the texture looks like after it dries. So this is what it, the picture looks like after it's done. I'm trying to zoom in so you can see the texture. You can kind of see the texture so it just gives it that little hint of canvas look than just being a flat picture.
there you have it. Easy DIY picture to canvas. Wasn't that super easy? And it was only probably about $5 per picture instead of $20, $30, $40 that you see online right now. And I also did look into trying to find the exact size that I wanted, which was 10 by 10, and I couldn't find any canvas places that would make that size. So this DIY worked out perfect for me. It's just gonna be up for maybe five, six weeks. It was something that was cheap and easy to do that kind of brought a little more Christmas into our kitchen. Thanks for watching and if you like this DIY, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye!